Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 9th, 2019. So my goodness, what a mess we have in the market. If you take a look what's going on this morning, we're looking at a gap down of more than 150 points. Um, just a little bit of trouble coming in here to the market. And yesterday we did get a little bit of a relief rally that I had mentioned. And you can see here was that relief rally, but we gave it back in the last 15, 20 minutes of the market yesterday, closing us almost flat here in the Dow. Just kind of a, well, it's just plain a mess. We have so much um, on the mind of the market today, it's going to be really, really difficult to trade. And I got to be honest with you, uh, for me, um, I don't think there's any edge. I really don't think there's an edge in the market. Any news report could create a complete reversal. I'm primarily a swing trader. Now, if you're a very quick and very experienced um, intraday uh, day trader, I think there's probably uh, some plenty of opportunity here because the market is going to have probably very erratic price action. Now, let's talk about what's happened in the news here. First off, we have um, trade negotiations are supposed to begin today. And um, as they come together, um, I find it kind of hard to believe with the rhetoric that's being pushed out there between uh, both sides that we're going to see a deal happen today prior to the uh, tariff increase that's scheduled to trigger um, at 12.01 um, a.m. tonight. So who knows? Maybe they get something done. I Wow, I, I have no idea. But I can tell you that the market... Um, is going to be pretty erratic as we wait and watch on that. We also know that if the U.S. imposes a tariff, we can expect China to respond in kind, and this dilemma just continues to grow. Um, add to that, we have North Korea firing another, um, well, they're, they're calling it an unidentified projectile over communities so um you know not wanting to miss out on his full measure of attention i guess um decides to kick a little sand we have iran um you know uh kicking up some sand trying to um raise tensions over there um and then we toss in um a, a, the biggest day of earnings uh this quarter with more than 500 companies Reporting, and we just have a mix of of things here that, well, it makes me want to call timeout, right? And just send all of these leaders to their corner for a timeout, um, and uh, let's get some cooler heads here um, to to maybe prevail. But obviously, I cannot send them to a timeout, so I can place myself there. I can choose to protect my capital when the market is acting so erratically and so much is on the line. And I can choose to stand aside when I feel I don't have an edge. And that's largely what I'm expecting to do today. And that may carry through the rest of the week. There's, um, uh, to, to be in this market right now is um, accepting the idea that it's okay to gamble. Um, a full-on gamble with your capital. For me, that's not acceptable. Um, I have no edge. We know that news reports could, could create knee-jerk reactions and quickly reverse the market. Anything is possible here today. And I choose, I choose to just pop up some popcorn and watch the show from the sidelines, um, protecting my capital, making sure that I'm doing my job and, um, and holding on. And there's just too much risk here for me to want to be involved in this mess today. Now, that doesn't mean that I couldn't take a, an intraday trade because I will intraday trade from time to time. But to swing or position trade right now, um, is is really um, taking a pretty high risk. So consider that. Now, having said that, let's take a look at 
uh, let's remove all of those things and let's just take a look at what the chart is showing us. First off, we have a downtrend uh, started here in the diamonds. So first off, we have this rejection high. We made a low, a lower high, and now a new low. We've broken through levels of support, and yet we're still holding on to a little bit of support here. This gap down this morning could create a little pressure to this support right down here. As you can see, we're opening, uh, at least at the moment, we're showing an open right in here. Um, any pressure to the market could certainly break down through this little level of support and you can see that support runs clear back over here in this price action so if we were to break down through there we could probably expect a relatively quick trip down into this area um, on um, the diamond so watch that closely now if we do happen to catch a rally if news comes out that really spins things to the positive side and things really start to come around we want to remember that this is currently in a downtrend. Any rally back into this region here could be that place where we hit resistance and um, find that new low. That's the nature of a downtrend, right? So we'll want to watch that carefully and, and be careful not to rush into um, any rally back because I'm certain there are a lot of folks that got hurt yesterday thinking, hey, it's got to be all over. This is this is done and um, jumped into the market only to find um, a whole lot of money disappeared this morning. So be really careful. Let's take a look at the SPY here really quickly. SPY in a similar situation, having created a lower high and now a lower low, we are in the midst of a downtrend. So keep that in mind, we've broken our uptrend and this level right in here will now serve as some price resistance if we do catch a rally back. If we rally up into this area between here and that, uh, that uptrend line, we could find that resistance point that pushes us back down. Let's take a look right here at this price support. This price support is a fairly important support for the SPY. And if we were to drift through or below that, and you can see this morning right here with this little red triangle, we're very, very close to that level this morning. If we drift below, don't be too surprised if we hit down in here that there could be an awful lot of stop loss orders right in here and we get a quick move lower. So watch that close today. And I, the, the real key level of support I think um, after that is right in here, which means a fairly substantial slide is possible. So we'll want to watch and be really, really careful there if we start to sell off. Let's take a look at um, the Qs. Now the Qs have been the strongest index and they still remain pretty darn strong here. But having failed through this level of price support, Well, that obviously creates the situation um, where any rally back, if we rally and hit resistance points or something like that, or create that lower high, we could begin that downtrend here in the NASDAQ. I don't want to predict that is going to happen in any way, shape, or form. I just want to say that the, the possibility is there and we want to think about that if we rally back and you can see it happened here um, basically yesterday where we rallied back up we came into this resistance and that's where we got that rejection now this morning we're gapping down right here into this little price support that i have marked right here and you can see that price support kind of transfers all the way over here but that little support right in here um, it looks like we could be giving that up or very, very close to giving that up this morning at the open, which would suggest that we have the possibility of some sellers coming in and maybe pushing us down to test additional levels of support. So we'll want to watch for that today. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM held up remarkably well yesterday considering how the other indexes were performing, but it did fail uh, through its upside trend. And now this morning we're gapping down a little bit here in IWM. I would suggest a very high likelihood that IWM will now come back down in test in this area. 
we'll have to wait and see if it can hold and you can see that's kind of an important area right in here on the chart so we'll want to watch that pretty closely if if we were to happen to slip through there um, drop below there we could have a real problem with IWM once again any rally back we're going to want to watch these resistance levels and pay attention to those closely let's take a look at the VIX that VIX um, got a little bit excited yesterday, rallying up strongly up above a 20 handle there for a period of time. And then um, pulling back here by the end of the day. Now, I think there's an opportunity here that we could see the VIX kind of take a little bit of a break or a little bit of rest if we can get... Well, past some of this fear, um, all of these events that creating all of this angst in the market, um, if, if we did get some kind of a rest, we're going to watch these areas right in here for potential price support. And the, the real critical point will be is if we do get those pullbacks and that is held as support and then we start seeing um, that fear really spike in here. So let's watch that close. And it's also possible we don't have to stop going down. You can see we've, we've been up here and tested this level multiple times. We could certainly, if the sellers come in strong, we could certainly see that VIX spike up into here. So watch those levels. Let's take a look at T2122. That four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we moved down into this um, area down in here. We had a, that little bit of a bounce yesterday pulling us up off of there. But unfortunately, what this means to us is we still have room to the downside. And we're going to get that this morning in this gap down this morning. As I'm speaking right now, Dow futures are down 182 and currently um, just drifting a little bit lower. So we have the ability to move down into this bullish reversal zone. And keep in mind, just because we move down there doesn't mean we necessarily have to bounce right back up. As you can see, there's evidence right in here where we can stay down here for just a little while. Um, when the market is just so concerned or has pressure on it like it does right now. So watch that close. Now, the good news is... Although where we are right now gives us an opportunity to move down, we have a big open window for upside moves. So if there is some kind of a deal, if there is some kind of progress, um, these leaders start behaving a little bit better, maybe we have an opportunity to catch that rally in that strong move up. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar has a few things to be made aware of. Today, Thursday, we get international trade and goods this morning. That's going to come out at 8.30. We have jobless claims at 8.30 and the PPI number at 8.30. Also, kind of keep in mind, we have Fed speak today. We have old Jerome Powell out there um, talking today, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. We have um, other Fed speakers um, on the calendar today as well that we'll want to think about. Um, as they come along. But probably the most important is, uh, is going to be right up here at 8.30 a.m. We'll have to watch that time period pretty closely. On the earnings calendar, well, and let's just say it's a ridiculous number of earnings today and they're coming in really, really fast. More than 500 companies reporting today, um, almost 550 companies reporting today. And about 100 of those companies have already ported, reported this morning and they're coming in fast and furious and they're gonna continue throughout the day um, and after the bell um, as well. Uh, this is the biggest uh, earnings day of um, uh, this earnings season and and uh, from here on out, it starts to slow down just a little bit, but it, it could be pretty nutty today in price action as we get these erratic moves around so many earnings reports. So be really, really careful. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. I know today is going to be very, very challenging, but it is still possible, you know, to make money. You just have to be really careful. I will be managing uh, current positions, but I don't expect to be adding any new trades today just because of the turmoil that's going on here in the market. So with that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that 
that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome at that. I truly appreciate all that you do in support of the channel and the efforts of trying to help traders. And um, if you find this video useful, uh, please do me a favor and share this video to um, other folks um, out there on your social, social media outlets or wherever um, you feel uh, could be most beneficial to other friends and family. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts. Now I'm going to, I'm going to give you a few chart ideas, but I'm also going to warn you very, very um, strongly that um, anything that I show you here in a chart is meant for a watch list item. It's not necessarily meant for a trade today and you need to do your evaluation. Uh, once again, I don't plan to trade today. I, I, I would find it, I think it'll be very odd if I actually take a position today um, because of the volatility, but there are charts setting up and ones that we want to pay attention to. And some of these charts I have mentioned uh, before and, and just recently, um, and they continue to look pretty darn good. Let's take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo tried to slip lower yesterday and may slip lower today, but holding right in this area, just trying to hang out here, a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation in this area. We need this to pop on through. We need some love. We need that to push on through here, but so far it's not there. So I'm keeping that on a list and just watching it closely. Um, and that's one of those consumer defensive sectors where when the market's a little nervous folks kind of run to those um, areas uh, for some protection um, take a look at um, RCL RCL could be setting up for a trade in a beautiful trend and as you can see uh, gapped on earnings and now getting this nice little consolidation moving over toward its trend now that of course could certainly pull back um, in in this trend but we want to watch this in here for this opportunity for an upside move um, assuming we can kind of clear up some of the uh, turmoil in the market that might be an opportunity for a trade you might want to take a look at pepsico pepsico has moved finally back to its trend and tried to push up a little bit yesterday just getting a little bit of, of pullback um, at the end of the day but trying to perk up there a little bit a chart i saw um i don't trade these um I'm not a biotech trader at all. They, they, in fact, they make me really nervous, but I see them all the time. And uh, this is a pretty nice setup here where we, we've poked up above a resistance area. We've pulled back to test it as support. Buyer stepping in right here. So a relatively low risk entry on these, but please keep in mind, um, biotechs are uh, really volatile by their very nature. And that can be a little bit of a tough trade. Uh, just on its own. So understand the risk of that trade if you do decide to take on something along those lines. Take a look at LMT. LMT with the saber rattling and things going on between the US and Iran and now maybe kicking up um, again with North Korea. That defensive um, defensive stocks or defense stocks might be a place to look, and you can see we have a really nice consolidating pattern here in LMT, and that opportunity that this could soon push itself out to run up here to test this resistance high. So, kind of keep that in mind. Really nice chart. When it comes to short trades, I would be really really careful with short trades right now. Um, you know, the short pattern that I want to trade is when a stock falls. Um, I don't don't want to chase that down just like I don't want to chase a move up if the stock is already moved up substantially like in here this is the last place I want to be thinking about buying it is up in here I want to wait for that resting pullback or, or that place I want to be buying stocks at price support not near price resistance levels that's where I want to be getting into trades so the same thing is true on a downtrend when a stock has been moving down we want to wait for that rally back up and that failure to occur at price resistance or 
at the downtrend. And we'll want to watch that pretty closely in here. So be careful in chasing short trades um, right now because we could catch that news report that bounces us up really, really strongly. And you can, you can really make things worse by chasing into these trades. We want to look for those reactions to either support resistance or trend. So watch that closely. So not too many shorts that I could really recommend here um, or, or put up um, in the charts uh, today just because so many of them are so stretched uh, to the downside. Let's take a look. Charts like Lulu still potentially setting up. Charts like Ford potentially setting up. Charts like GE uh, potentially setting up with this nice little um, rally up, breaking its major downtrend. And now we're just getting this resting pullback, uh, possibly over toward trend. So a few charts for your list, something to keep an eye on. But I would highly recommend um, just marking up those charts and waiting for better days to trade. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great, great day. Remember, there's no shame standing on the sidelines, protecting your capital. One of our major jobs as a trader is to protect our capital. And um, if we're always tossing caution to the wind and trading when we have no edge in the market, we're just asking for a beating. And, 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 and I would really recommend um, you back up and think about that for a second and say, is there is there a point to this today? Is, is the risk just too high? So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you bright and early. Friday morning. Take care.